CDNW Consultants, our vision is to expand the organizational capacity to create a productive future one organization at a time. Our mission is providing the tools to create a learning organization to improve organizations for the long term. The CDNW Guide for Learning Organizations will serve as a map for this journey. We are committed to building a relationship with our clients while providing a professional working climate that encourages and promotes effective teamwork and enthusiasm. We, we all probably spend too much time thinking about smart individuals. It's one of the problems with school. You know, it's very individualistic, very much about the smart kid and the dumb kids. Okay, uh, that's not the kind of smartness we need. The smartness we need is collective. We need cities that work differently. We need, you know, industrial sectors that work differently. Uh, we need value chains and supply chains that are managed from, from the beginning to the end to really produce social, ecological, and economic well-being. That's the concept of intelligence we need, and it will never be achieved by a handful of smart individuals. It's not about the smartest guys in the room. It's about what we can do collectively. So the intelligence that matters is going to be collective intelligence, and that's the concept of smart that I think will really tell the tale. Learning is the key to building a successful organization. There are five subsystems to support the ongoing organizational learning. The subsystems of building a learning organization are learning, people, organization, knowledge, and technology. Each subsystem supports the other throughout the overall organization. The CDNW Guide for Learning Organizations provides a comprehensive breakdown of each of these subsystems. By following the implementation plan in this guide, you can transform your organization into a learning organization. What is a learning organization? A learning organization identifies present and future learning needs for its members. It addresses present and future needs through structured learning opportunities. It uses day-to-day -day work experiences as a basis for learning. It seeks to capture and classify knowledge within an organization in a systematic way. It provides the opportunities for that captured knowledge to be used to beneficial ends. It uses a different approach to learning. A learning organization responds. We, we all probably spend too much time thinking about smart individuals. It's one of the problems with school. You know, it's very individualistic, very much about the smart kid and the dumb kids. Okay? Uh, that's not the kind of smartness we need. The smartness we need is collective. We need cities that work differently. We need, you know, industrial sectors that work differently. Uh, we need value chains and supply chains that are managed from, from the beginning to the end to really produce social, ecological, and economic well-being. That's the concept of intelligence we need, and it will never be achieved by a handful of smart individuals. It's not about the smartest guys in the room. It's about what we can do collectively. So the intelligence that matters is going to be collective intelligence, and that's the concept of smart that I think will really tell the tale. Groups learn in many of the same ways as individuals, through shared experience and stimulus exposure. The interaction of group participants with not only the environment, but with other group members allows for a shared experience. The exploration of the environmental stimulus allows for the expansion of knowledge even in failure. Groups can analyze the causes of failure and plan accordingly, reducing the probability of repeating the failure. We're talking about creating knowledge, learning kinds of organizations, and yet one of the things we've learned about learning is that the most important knowledge that exists in organizations isn't the explicit knowledge that's contained in training manuals and in, in, in policies and procedure manuals and that kind of thing, but it's the implicit knowledge that's contained in people's minds and how their shared ways of doing things. The CDNW Guide for Learning Organizations will help your organization make the most out of the learning experiences. 
team building activities are included to guide you through the process of becoming a true learning organization. Thank you.